So according to a new survey, black young adults are more likely to drop out of Protestant churches compared to their white counterparts. Both groups cited disagreements with the church's position on social and or political issues, college, a lack of connection to people in the church, and uh, no longer believing in God. Yeah, I, I, here's the thing for me. I, the same people, like this whole concept of, Religion and Christianity, particularly when you when you black, you have a few questions. Like, because the same people that gave you Jesus gave you. <laughs> well, we were younger though. You didn't question it, a because we didn't have Google. We didn't have the ability to research as much as we do. You just did what your parents told you to, and they said, right. "Get in the car, we're going to church," and you did, right. and you believe mm -hmm. whatever the pastor said. But now you can Google and say, "Hey, wait a second. Did you need Google to let you know that a lot of church people are hypocritical? Mm -hmm. You didn't need Google. Nah. No. Well, I mean, no. I think that was if age. That's all you knew, though. I mean, yeah. if, if, yeah, I if, your, if your mom and daddy said this is what it is, right? And then when then you go you out the it. house and they take you somewhere and that's what it is, right? When you get back home, damn it, that's, that's what, what it is. Right. I think. People so, are moving more towards spirituality now instead of religion because but that's of they, control. And that's more like hedging their bets. Who can come, who can't, all these rules and regulations. But, I think people but, want. But the idea of religion is for control. As, and, absolutely. It's, it's for, it's right. A, mm -hmm. I, I and think it's not it, inclusive. When you say spirituality, that's hedging your bets. You want to go, I, listen, just in case this whole thing exists, I'm going to. I'm you better think well, there's, no, there's no, nothing you're... wrong with the need to believe in something. Right. right. And, and I think people Toward need that to self. exist. Right. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like for me, like when I grew up, my, my father was Muslim. Right. My mom was Catholic. Right. So we had that conflict right. right there. So I was like already questioning both. Right. You know, like. Right. And when they would fight, they would take it out on each other's religion. Right. Right. Yeah. right. Like he would hide yeah. her rosary beads, and <laughs> and she would stomp ham into his prayer rug. So <laughs> that right there said, "I got to question this." You know? Pork chop. <laughs> it's delicious, ain't it? <laughs> but like as a you know, when I was young, I was already like, okay, right. You know, I got two combating right. things. And I got to pull the good out of each of them. Right. Mm -hmm. But so, then as you got older, though, didn't you get the opportunity to kind of look on your own and research oh, a little bit? Absolutely. But that's what I mean. There are more ways for you to be able to figure those things out instead of being fed them to you when right. you were right. kids. Let's, let's, let's be fair. Um, they're, they're, they're generally, poor people, bl poor black and brown people, they have high. They, they have a, a fervent belief in a higher power. Mm -hmm. Yes, like they, do. they like, do. Like if you look at where the Catholic church is bigger, where churches are bigger, period, it's among poor brown people, right? Generally, I'm not saying. Right. And and there's very little evidence that he digs us as much as we dig him. Like it's like very <laughs> like everything we see is gonna come after. Wait, to, now it's horrible. But wait, you get to this invisible yeah. place it's like that no one can ever tell you about. Yeah. <laughs> by and by. Like white people right. can believe in God and do pretty good here and like. If I was white, I wouldn't want to leave here because heaven can't be as good as Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crazy? Are you crazy? So it's just it's a little weird to me. It's well, new dating trends are popping up. Uh, there's condoing. People dump uh, partners that no longer spark joy in their life. There's brexiting, threatening to leave a relationship, then managing to renegotiate the terms and stay together at the last minute. Then there's daffodilling, when a, a love interest pops into your life at the same time every year for a short period of time. Usually around spring. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. like daffodilling. Yeah, okay. it's, called, it's, it's called I'm playing Albuquerque this year. Like right. Every year. right, right. I hope you're right. free. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, right. I'm gigging at the Route 66 Casino. Maybe yeah. you can come by. That's just fishing. <laughs> right. Exactly. 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 They true. call them different names, yeah, but you know, exactly. if you're still with somebody, it's because you ain't got the money to break up. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm weeding. Well, you, well, you don't need love the money them. to break up. Yeah, you do. Oh, you need sure. a lot of money to break up. Oh, yeah, break up? Yeah. Oh, you mean as a, a marriage? Yeah. yeah not, it's, it's like dating. Any even kind of dating. relationship. Yeah. Even dating. But why do you need money to break up with someone? Because, because you live together? chances are you probably aren't paying those bills. By and you're like, I got to and their children and all new bills right mm -hmm. right all of a sudden cable's oh. expensive <laughs> <laughs> I, I i think that they just call them different things right Plus, yeah. I, right. Just, I just think that there's such a there, there, there's such a rush to make everything a slick moniker yeah ghosting mm -hmm. right no i just right. I, I just, just stop calling yeah i just i just don't like you no more right that's yeah. right now right. Beat it. i wish you was a ghost but you ain't <laughs> <laughs> well it's speaking cool. of liking people a new survey reveals one of the top sexual fantasies is fantasizing with your ex Yes. Yeah. More mm -hmm. than half of women have fantasized about having sex with an ex-boyfriend while making love with their current partner. Having sex with an ex is less for men to think about, you know, their ex. It's about 53%. Other fantasies include a sex scene on TV, sex with a celebrity, sex with a stranger, and uh, I guess having sex with someone in authority. Yeah. 
That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> That's, it was be, to be this because the whole Me Too, Me Too movement was started because people didn't want to be yeah. have sex with people who had authority. That's a but weird. But who knew most women, more mostly half or more of women, think about their ex when they're having sex with their current. Mm-hmm. I fan of I fantasize about having sex. Oh, I don't care. Tic tac toe. I don't give a damn. <laughs> we'll be right back with more of the D.L. Hughley show and a little note from the GED section.